down here at Detroit checking in with team number 910 Fully Freeze. I'm here with Andrew, Emma, Rebecca, and background. We got Kevin helping out as well, too. We're going to find out more here about them on Behind the Bumpers. Starting out, Becca, I want to talk to you about your intake that you have here. Uh, cool prop and design. Why don't you tell us about what's going on with this? So this year we had a relatively simple intake system. We actually started with a four bar design, but we wanted to have an in bumper gatherer system so that we could uh, poach balls from the other side of the field. So we originally only had this as a cargo gathering system, but we decided to have a dual functionality to it. So we ended up cutting uh, in the back bar so that we could add Delrim blocks for oscillation. So we actually have a seated window motor that operates our two uh, steel cables within here. So the window motor uh, has a, an aluminum piece that oscillates upward connected to these. So it pulls these pieces in and spins our wheels backwards so that we can gather hack panels and shoot them with accuracy. And then we have a couple of Lexan pieces on the bottom that serve as a leaf spring to cause that to spring back outward. So it's a relatively simple design, but it works very efficiently. Really cool here and obviously very efficient. You guys have been having a lot of success here during the competition. Let's move over to Andrew here. And we're going to talk a little about the uh, drive. I'll notice you're using uh, Neo Motors, very popular choice. Why don't you tell us about your sort of drive here? So yeah, so it's a dual Neo swerve. So uh, the drive motor runs about 14 feet per second, and the rotational motor can actually run about six revs per second. But we scale that back to half power because we don't need to go that fast, really. Um, the two plates were they're made out of nylon. We CNC them in house, and then the uh, the parts that hold the wheel and this gear down here and this piece in there is actually laser sintered nylon. So we found a sponsor that's willing to do that. For us, um, they're just under five pounds, and uh, if you look at the side profile of our robot, you can see that uh, they're underneath the bumpers, so to prevent them from getting damaged or from getting a hatch panel stuck on them. So, yeah, they've been very effective this year, all developed in season, so they've been great. Absolutely incredible and a great driving machine that you have here as well. Emma, let's uh, uh, round up with you here. I know we're going to talk about some different cool programming features, of course, with uh, some of your autonomous and then some of the semi-auto you had during the tele -Emo. Let's talk about that. Okay, so for our uh, semi or our auto, or yeah, our auto, we have a complex polygon RSC pattern that we run. We plot the field based on uh, dimensions that were given to us by the first. Then our robot will drive through the uh, middle of each of the seg uh, segments and allows us to drive off level two, level one, and be able to uh, gather a hatch and place it correctly. And then, so for some of our um, semi-auto functions, our elevator goes to uh, PID limited uh, switches, and with that, it allows us to accurately score it without having the operator uh, move the uh, elevator manually. Well, 910 looking really good here at the Detroit Championship. Good luck the rest of the way. Absolutely phenomenal, Sheen. Can't wait to see more 910 here in Detroit. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.